Well, the Rasmussen tracking poll has President Trump up around 50%. Even if you don't believe Rasmussen, he's in the mid-40s. His polls have also been trending in the right direction. And the question, again, is why? And I think that the answer lies in the fact that so many on the left have decided to just treat people with whom they disagree in deplorable fashion. The latest example of this is Tommy Lahren. Okay, so Tommy Lahren goes out to brunch with her mom. And a bunch of people decide to scream at Tommy Lahren and then throw drinks on her. So here's what it, here's what it sounded like. So there's a person who's tossing a drink at Tommy Lahren for no reason. Oh, because you're so cool because you tossed a drink at Tommy Lahren for the great sin of going to brunch with her mother. Now, you don't have to be a Tommy Lahren fan to understand that this is awful behavior. It's just garbage behavior. But that's no shock because folks on the left have been engaging in garbage behavior throughout the campaign cycle. You know, we tend to forget a lot of the things that happened in 2016 because there was so much that went on in 2016. But there were Trump rallies where people legitimately showed up and did violence to Trump supporters. It wasn't Trump supporters doing violence to Hillary Clinton supporters. It was Hillary Clinton supporters, in many cases, doing violence to Trump supporters. Now, there were cases, obviously, very well publicized of people hitting dissenters inside Trump meetings and all the rest. But if you're talking about widespread violence, wide scale violence, I believe there was a rally in San Jose where violence broke out. There was the rally in Chicago that had to be canceled because of violence outside. The Democrats have decided to go full scale 1968, and this sort of behavior is not going to help their cause. Now, maybe this person feels they're going to be cheered on social media for having thrown a glass of water at Tommy Lahren, but I just don't know what you gain through all of this.